Okay, so we're going to prove this property of exponents for all positive integers. So here, a and b are fixed constants. We're going to do this via mathematical induction, so proof. So the statement we're proving is this one. This is our s sub n. And so we'll start with the base case. Now, we, we're starting at 1, and the reason is we're showing this is true for all positive integers, and the smallest positive integer is 1. So we start the base case at 1. So on the left-hand side, we just get uh, AB to the first power, so that's AB. On the right-hand side, we just get uh, A to the 1, B to the 1, which is also AB. Well, sure enough, the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side, so S sub 1 is true. So we have shown that the base case is true. The next step is the induction hypothesis. Hypothesis. In this step, we assume that our statement is true for some arbitrary positive integer k. So suppose... So now what we'll do is we'll write down s sub k. Well, s sub k, all you do to figure out what that is, is just plug in k. And we'll assume this is true for some arbitrary. I won't write that down. I'll just put k, which is a positive integer. The last step is the induction step. We have to show that our statement is true when n is equal to k plus 1, so the induction step. So it's really, really helpful to write down what we need to show. So we need to show a, b to the k plus 1 is equal to a to the k plus 1, b to the k plus 1. Now, if you just write this down without writing, we need to show. Uh, someone can read your proof and think that you don't know what you're doing. So we need to actually prove this, right? So it's important that if you write it down, maybe you go to the side. Uh, that's why I put it in parentheses. This is really, this is not part of the proof. This is just for our own benefit, so we can prove it. Okay, so not part of the proof. All right, so to prove this, we'll start by writing this side down. So let's look at AB to the K plus 1. And we have to show it's equal to this. All right, well, we can do this. A, B to the K, A, B to the 1. And this right here, well, we know what this is, right? It's up here. And it's equal to this. So in this step, we use the induction hypothesis. So we get A to the K, B to the K times A, B. Uh, multiplication of real numbers is commutative, so we end up with A to the K plus 1 b to the k plus 1. So we started with this, and we showed that it's equal to this. That was precisely what we needed to show. So s sub k plus 1 is true. And when you finish, you, you just write something down. So maybe, therefore, by PMI, s sub n is true for all positive integers, and that's it. Pretty easy problem.